الحمد لله رب العالمين ونصلي ونسلم على رسول الكريم صلى الله عليه وسلم أما بعد The people have gathered from all corners of the land to burn a Nabi Ibrahim عليه السلام and to kill him in order to defend their gods. The king and the people of that land gathered so much fuel in order to make a fire and burn Ibrahim alayhi salam and make an example of him and whoever challenges their beliefs and mocks their idols. This fire was so tremendous they had to keep a far distance from it. The fire was so extreme high temperatures they had to build a catapult in order to throw the Prophet Ibrahim alayhi salam into this fire. Ibrahim alayhi salam was placed into the catapult and right before Ibrahim alayhi salam was catapulted into the fire Sayyidina Jibreel alayhi salam the angel Jibreel alayhi salam came to Ibrahim alayhi salam and asked him are you in need of assistance Ibrahim alayhi salam replied if it's from you no then Sayyidina Jibreel alayhi salam said then ask your Lord ask Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala Ibrahim alayhi salatu was salam said Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is sufficient for me. Then Ibrahim was catapulted alayhi salam into this great fire. And all the people were cheering and laughing, happy. He was thrown into this fire, believing they have given victory to their false gods. Little did they know that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is in power. Allah commanded the fire to be cool and peaceful, causing no harm on Ibrahim alayhi salam. Naran kuni bardan wa salam ala Ibrahim. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala for his slaves makes the impossible possible. The fire was scorching hot. On the inside, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala made it a blissful garden for Ibrahim alayhi salam. He stayed in there glorifying and praising Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. This fire went for days. And Ibrahim alayhi salam spent his time praising Allah. The people of Ibrahim alayhi salam that threw him into the fire watched and waited until the fire was extinguished on its own. The Khalil of Allah, Ibrahim alayhi salam, walked out in total submission, grateful to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala gave him authority against the disbelievers. As the disbelievers looked at Ibrahim in shock and awestruck that Ibrahim alayhi salam was well and not harmed by the fire they called him a shaitan because he was not harmed after that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala went after these disbelievers and this king that wanted to harm the Khalil and Ibrahim the Khalil of Allah alayhi salam the special friend of Allah Ibrahim alayhi salam continued to call the people to Allah and his religion but no one answered no one answered the call even after the miracle they have seen or heard of only two people at during this time believed in him it was Sara alayhi salam and Lut alayhi salam as for Ibrahim's father he refused and disowned him as it stated in the Quran by Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala Ibrahim and his wife Sara alayhi salam decided to leave this land and migrate elsewhere and loot alongside them alayhi salam. At that time there was a ruler in Egypt 
and this ruler heard about Sarah's beauty alayhi salam and this ruler ordered Sarah and Ibrahim alayhi salam to be brought in front of him this ruler was a womanizer he took women from their husbands against their own will this ruler wanted Sarah alayhi salam but he wanted to find out who was this man called Ibrahim with her alayhi salam if Ibrahim was Sarah's husband he planned to kill Ibrahim alayhi salam and take Sarah alayhi salam against her own will so Ibrahim had alayhi salam had a plan and told Sarah alayhi salam that Ibrahim is her brother to avoid being killed Sara alayhi salam made dua seeking refuge with Allah from this tyrant ruler then she was brought in front of this ruler this tyrant approached Sara alayhi salam to touch her and when he extended his filthy hand Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala paralyzed his arm this tyrant would yell out of despair and asked Sara alayhi salam make this stop Sarah made dua to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to restore this tyrant's function to his arms you think this tyrant would learn his lesson but he tried to touch Sarah again alayhi salam and again Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala paralyzed his arm then he again said make this stop Sarah again makes dua to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to restore his arms and again his filthy tyrant for the third time tried to take Sarah against her own will alayhi salam Allah made him paralyzed total paralyzed from head to toe then he begged Sarah alayhi salam to make it stop and he promised not to do it again she made dua to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and he was fine again then the ruler told his servants take her away from me I am in no need of her. Who have you brought to me? She is a shaitan. She is a devil. She is not a human. And as she was leaving, this ruler decided to gift her a servant. And it was Hajar, what will be our mother soon, the other wife of Ibrahim alayhi salam. As we know, Sar alayhi salam was not able to have children. And Ibrahim was getting old alayhi salam and wanted children. So Sarah wanted Hajar and Ibrahim alayhi salam to get married. But Ibrahim had his concerns alayhi salam of Sarah becoming jealous, especially if Allah was to bless them with a child. But Sarah alayhi salam insisted and said she was fine and she will be happy for them. Sometime later, when both Ibrahim and Sarah alayhi salam were much older three young handsome men that were unknown came to visit Ibrahim alayhi salam they greeted each other with salam and Ibrahim alayhi salam invited them home and slaughtered a cow for them to honor his guests and when Ibrahim alayhi salam presented the food to his guests and they did not eat from it Ibrahim alayhi salam got concerned he was scared and he began to think maybe his guests were bandits or they came to kill him so Ibrahim alayhi salam asked them why are you here they told Ibrahim don't be scared we are the angels we were sent by Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to give you glad tidings of Ishaq your son to be from, from Sarah alayhi salam he was surprised because he was at a very old age and the angel said this is what Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala wills brothers and sisters this is only the tip of the iceberg inshallah in the days to come we will learn more together inshallah Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala knows better and best Allahumma salli ala Sayyidina Muhammad walhamdulillahi rabbil alameen